say something funny. All right, hey. Uh, you know, why'd the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side! <laughs> no, I didn't think it was gonna. All right, it's not all. It's not all that. I promise. <laughs> this is another bullshit episode where we talk about. Uh, we talk about David Archuleta. We talk about. We talk about uh, what to do when you're president of a building. Uh, we we talk <laughs> I know, about. We talk about that for a while. We <laughs> talked about that. We talk about. Uh, uh, we talk about the Pokemon leaks and yeah. uh, how we're afraid of Pokemon. And then we spit more water, all that, and much, much more on this episode of the Bells and Whistles podcast. Run that intro. There you are. I got this. Remember David Archuleta, American Idol? And the crazy out the cross is way crush. Cause I know this crush ain't no, I don't, going I don't away. Know. I never watched American yeah, Idol. I was scared. Yeah. Why were you scared? <laughs> <laughs> Simon Cowell. <laughs> you were scared of Randy Jackson. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bells and Whistles podcast. Ryan Quigley, Ephraim Bernie. Now listen, you guys are gonna be upset with us. <laughs> We're both in bad moods. Yeah, I don't know. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine too. I just, I, I, for whatever reason, we don't, we, I don't think we feel like doing we, this episode. We are, we're today. running out of time. I've got an audition. Yeah. Um, that I sprung on Ryan. So maybe Ryan isn't about. Hey, it. spring is sprung. Spring. <laughs> spring is sprung. Hey, write that down. Write that down, right? Um, no, uh, I got a little audition. Um, Ryan's in between things at work. Um, and we're just trying to get this all done in time uh, for supper, right. you know? Yeah, exactly. You want to get home before the sun goes down. Yeah. <laughs> Bring home you don't the bacon. know what happens after that. No, so yeah, we're going to make this, a, we think we're going to make this another, I know this This is not great for you because this is going to be another admittedly bullshit quickie back to back. Last week's episode ended up being over an hour. Yeah. Which is people really? People said they were waiting for it. People were very excited about our takes. Who? Who did you? Who? Who, who told you that? Um, <laughs> who told somebody you? Somebody in the comments said something. Are you talking to the one comment that came from Rolando, <laughs> <laughs> our good friend Rolando? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Rolando. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought I thought Rolando had stopped watching. <laughs> no, he would never. He would yeah. never. Right. Um. But yeah. Uh. So. Uh, so let me. First of all, how are you? Are you okay? Look, hold this. You He's need like, something. No, need you need a little emotional something. support. Yeah, animal. take, 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 take Thanks Dylan, so Dylan Mulvaney, Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, this is. Uh, it, things have been all right. It's ta- it, We're we're in the middle of a a grueling process of putting the show together. Right. Grueling. Anne of uh, Anne of Green Gables. Our version of it called Marilla of Green Gables. <laughs> I just want to let you know <laughs> that if you turned to me and said like, "What's the name?" I was seriously going to say Attila of Green Gables. <laughs> <laughs> that's what was in my head okay. that's where i'm at right now yeah okay, okay. yeah no that's good no you have your first preview um tomorrow tomorrow we and have our opening first show. is monday yes which i have a ticket you have a ticket for yeah, did you I'll get an there. email no <laughs> <laughs> okay. no <laughs> well you should <laughs> I'll <laughs> check my junk. Point. We've also I had one for Jessica Gold, but uh, she can't come. So if you have anyone you want to bring, <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring I'll bring Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney. I'll see if I can no, find I me a plus should, one. I think we should get Amelia to come. You want me to invite Amelia? I know, uh, you know, if you don't have anybody more exciting to come, I have no one. Okay. <laughs> I, I promise I, you, I, I, think I will Amelia have no would, one. I think Amelia would get a kick out of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, there's a I'll, character I'll, I'll in there that it. I've based on Amelia. <laughs> oh, no, are yeah. you serious? Yeah. No. Oh, I don't want to hear any more. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more. And I want to next week. Yeah. <laughs> I want to next week tell everybody yeah. from my perspective. Yeah. No. No. You <laughs> Am I going to be able to tell immediately? I think you'll. <laughs> You'll be able to tell pretty quickly. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Uh, yeah. So, but no, there's there's all that. Right. Um, and I'm doing a lot of my I'm a lot of my work for Elevate. Where, right. Uh, Have you been elevating? I though? I don't know if the kids feel like they've their el- education has been elevated. Do you, but do, I, do you feel like you're molding minds though from your perspective? I feel like the kids are crazy about when I show up. They're like, yeah, this is the this is our guy. Right. Um, except there's one, now I have a weekly class. I have yeah. a school that I go to every week. So you get to which, see the progression. Yeah, I get to see the progression, which is, it's an amazing school. It's like, right. 
like half their day goes specifically to uh like learning how to be filmmakers which is oh, crazy what it's like where was all where did we go how old are they they're in high school they're high schoolers they have to be talentless <laughs> <laughs> they have to be I don't know. I haven't seen they? any of their stuff. I supposedly it's pretty good. But also how good are we? That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. I, I'm an adult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. But they're they're learning. You know, I never had an elevate class. Yeah, I never well, you never had an elevate class. No. Exactly, right? So And you're teaching them mnemonic devices? I'm teaching them, yes, mnemonic devices. Um, I'm teaching them how to set up a schedule for themselves, all sorts of things like that. Are you using any of these tactics in your regular life? No. Hmm. No, no. Damn. But then again, look at me. I'm teaching elephant. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be where I am. <laughs> you know, if anything, if anything, I'm more of a cautionary. Yeah, tale. That's what I'm saying. It's like a politician be like, I'm not on Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm not doing that. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Obama wasn't on Obamacare. No, true. no, yeah. he didn't do that shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um but the that that school um three like two and a half of the classes i teach four classes there right um i think are are pretty excited that i'm there and then there's a morning class that i think is too tired to deal with me in the morning and then there's one in that is like right after lunch i think and they just they have not a, a, a smidgen of interest Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm, I, I understand that the interest, the inter, there with with respect, yes. their interest does not concern me. If a if a, if if a child is, if a ch how old are these kids? Did ah, uh, they're like fourteen. Fourteen. If a yeah. fourteen year old is interested in a class, yeah, get a life. No. Yeah. For no. Sure. For sure. Well, my Dork. weenie. <laughs> if you're my, fourteen years old and you like school, <laughs> you got to find something to do. Technically, mine is a seven. Whatever it is, it could be a jamboree. <laughs> what a, what a, I'm telling you, if a 14 year old wants wants to do wants to be in in school, yeah, instead of just like going hanging out or doing something or playing video games, yeah, smoking weed, <laughs> you know, if yeah. you want to do that, you gotta you got you're doing it I wrong. I can't kids. stop you, kids. Yeah. I can't stop you. I'm kids. saying I think some of them are smoking weed <laughs> while I'm teaching them. Those are the cool ones. That's why they Yikes. enjoy it so much. Yeah. But I want to know if you think that you're having an impact. If you yeah. think you're like building the next generation. I think I've I think I've taught I think I've taught them how to behave. Or last year I did I did it so well they asked me to speak at their graduation. That's really funny, by the yeah. way. That's really funny, by the way. Yeah. Can you tell the story? Can you tell it? Can you just again because we have zero to talk about? Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about some Pokemon stuff, but then we're really not going to. Can you tell the people? Because you 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 live in an apartment building in, on Hamilton Heights. Yes. And you recently just found your way into a specific position there. <laughs> oh yeah. And I want you to tell the people, just like the broad, like like the 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 one hundred twenty second yeah, story of how I and get to yeah. a punchline yes. of what's happening. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> when I moved into my building, the guy who was there before me told me that they're going to want to put me on the board of the building at some point, right? right. Because he was on the board and they there are certain people in the building that were on the board before and they didn't do a good job. So they're trying to find way people to fill the positions before they do. Exactly. I went to the board election. They had been talking about this for a year. I sat down. It was supposed to be an hour long at top tops. We were there for two and a half hours in the basement of my building. Everybody is screaming at each other because it's, yeah. it's it's a it's a it's a political yes. thing yes. to get control, control to get control of making the decisions of what and... happens in the building. Exactly. Typically, like the people that were running it that we've hired to run it, they say that nobody ever wants to do this. Right. This was a bloodbath. Right. Sure. It was neck and neck. And you've lived in this building for... I've lived in this building now a year and a month. I was just... I, my yeah. guess was going to be 13 months. Yeah, 13 months. Okay. I've lived in this building for 13 months. Again, a reminder, I am me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this little feller. You are here. You are an actor writer that has a weekly Pokemon uh -huh, podcast. Exactly. So that's that's me and going up against, you know... who People I threw, who have lived in this building yeah, for decades. decades. I threw my hat in the ring, right? There were si there were sixteen. No, really, there, just to be polite. Yeah, just to be polite. Everybody was saying like you should you should submit because the other guy was there too. Yeah. There are fifteen people that could vote. Yeah. I got sixteen votes, <laughs> and, you, and now I am the president <laughs> of my building. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> He's the president. He presides <laughs> over these people. <laughs> who, who not not just these these are people who have not just lived in the building yeah. for, for decades. These are people who have been on the board for decades, yeah. right? Yeah. They, they enthusiastically wanted me to do this. <laughs> so what is I see them now walking out of the building on my block and they're like Mr. President. <laughs> do they really? Yeah. That's really funny. And they they take me aside they're like we want you to know we believe in you. <laughs> You so, have our best interests. So what are your four, tell me about your first hundred days. <laughs> I'll tell you what my first hundred days are. Yeah. Well, next Tuesday is our is our first meeting with me as president. So I have to come up <laughs> with, you, with the doc. Are you going to wear a suit? <laughs> I think I'm going to wear a crown. <laughs> a big furry jacket. <laughs> I have a fucking one of those big thingies. Scepter. A, a scepter. I sit in the basement. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> my big... <laughs> My my big my big thing is that I want us to <laughs> I want us to bundle our building insurance with another building on the block so it's cheaper. <laughs> that's my that's my first my my first step. Wow. And also yeah, no cuz I've I've called people. I called all the, you know, all the people that were there yeah. and asked them like what do you want to see? What's going on? You know, like I talked to the people who were who were running the election, and I uh, called them. I'm like, "What do I need to do as a as a president?" And right. They say that it's amazing that you ask. Here's exactly what you need to do. So they gave me all these resources. So uh -huh. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do right by my building. Oh my gosh! It's, it's very so. I'm trying to bundle our insurance, and there's and then the unfortunate thing there's a bunch of people that haven't paid rent in years. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle that? I'm not sure. <laughs> I asked the I asked the building's attorney and I asked the um, the woman who was advising me on how to do this from, right. the, from the board building, like the board committee around the city, and they, and they were like, "Yeah, nobody really knows what to do about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna have to ask nicely." <laughs> yeah, I know you gotta figure that out. Yeah. Um, Oh my God! Yeah, there are some you, programs I can apply for. Where apparently this is what's really crazy is that if you're old enough and you haven't paid your rent for long enough, <laughs> there's a thing you can apply for where the the city will just pay your rent for you. Really? Yeah, I want to apply. I know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you have to be. You have to like prove that you are like on death's door. Wow! Like you have to prove that there's like literally no way that they're that you're gonna be able to. Pay oh my this goodness! Rent. And then the city will step in. Can I tell you my fantasy that I see happening? If yeah. you you better be careful to do not too good a job. Yeah. Because if you get that building, and now I'm hearing you talking to other buildings, mm -hmm. if you get a group of if you get a group of 100 to 200 people in Manhattan to support you, <laughs> you're gonna end up in office somewhere. <laughs> you're gonna run for political office. I I I'm, I, I tell you. If it doesn't interrupt with my audition, <laughs> I think it could be a city council member. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you know who they're not casting? AOC. AOC. <laughs> yeah. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. That's crazy that you're doing stuff. I thought I believed you when you said that you were just gonna you were just planning on being sort of a figurehead. I well, I think that is mostly what it is at the end of the day. Okay. Um, but I it sounds like you're doing I'm sounds... trying my I'm making a lot of calls and um there apparently are steps apparently my building was like on the verge of collapse. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also a thing. This is here. If you want a real, uh, some real stuff that, that you should look up if you're in the city, yeah. apparently there's a whole thing where in like five years, the Housing Protection Department, mm -hmm. um, which is in charge of all the low income buildings. Okay. Is going to try and seize all of them, and 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 there's a chance that they can remove your ownership. <laughs> there are so many fucking little uh, little side stories here. Yeah, no. this is like an ep This you get, you better start writing. I know I I'm I'm writing it all down. It's it's crazy. Like yeah. there's like it, there's not. I don't know why the people on the Pokemon podcast would care about this. Yeah, but no. there's a whole thing where there's a, a thing written into the bylaws where. If a building, if an HDFC building is being foreclosed, right, it doesn't become, it doesn't get foreclosed like a typical building, right. right? It becomes the property of the city. That's terrible. Which is crazy, right? That's terrible. It becomes the property of the city, but the city doesn't want to run it, so they sell it to HPD for two dollars. 
<laughs> why not one dollar? <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but it's if you look at the thing that it's written in, it says they'll sell it for two dollars. Two dollars, <laughs> and then HPD <laughs> comes in and buys them up. The problem is HPD are the people that decide what makes a building foreclosed. So they are able it's to decide. It's a racket. So they're able to decide this building is going to be foreclosed. Wow. Then they buy them up for fucking nothing. And then, and they then rent them out. Yeah, and rent them out. It's crazy. And so you have to like, Jeez. you have to like, so my building is in a legal case with these people. They want it. They want it. They're coming after But you. we won. We won last. So this all happened before I came in. Okay. And then I took over. <laughs> how dare you I, say I've that? I've taken over. How dare yeah, you? I, I took over the position. How, how fucking dare you say that with such comfortability yeah. Yeah. and confidence? <laughs> I, I've taken over the position. <laughs> <laughs> since my reign. Since, since my arrival. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> um, and I'm studying up and they're like, our legal case is in, uh, is in limbo because... Um, I don't know. Like, there's there's right. there's stuff that's going on with the city itself. Yeah, that like we're dealing with. Uh huh. And then I don't know. I think we're. It, it sounds like this is the thing that you should pay attention to if you're in this building. In five years, not in my building, but in any building uh -huh. that's like low income. In 2029, the city re-ups the what it makes a low income building. Okay. And the HPD wants to renegotiate that. Which would mean everybody, every low income building stops being one for a brief period of time. And then they decide what makes them one again. And if you fall out of that disqualification, you're fucked. They can just take your house from you? <clears throat> you get taxed super, the building oh. will get super high taxes again. And then you fall into foreclosure because the people that live there can't pay it. And then the HPD wow. takes it. Wow. So you have to, because like my building gets that's tax crazy breaks. Crazy that yeah. they can just displace people like that. Yeah, that's what they and they do it. To, that's what's really crazy is that they do it to communities that can't speak English. Right. So they don't know what's going on. Right. So like, like most of these people own their apartments. Right. But if a building is foreclosed, even if you own it, you you're the your lease, not your lease, but your like what your your rights to owning it are taken away from you. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's pretty funny too. It's I mean it's 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 it certainly has a lot to do with Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Yeah. Wow. Now this is my big this is my big this is why I, I want I want to prove to people project. that I'm a, that I'm that I'm a I'm a good president. Good president. Mr. Good president. president. <laughs> Senor president. <laughs> Presidente. Presidente. There you go. Yeah. All right. So we'll give you what you want. So this is we're recording this on a Friday. Yeah. Uh to be released next wednesday we're not going to do an update unless something really crazy happens yeah but here is the long and the short of where we're at since the big data breach right yeah basically every beta sprite and concept art of every pokemon game ever has been released in some way shape or form yeah uh you know little, there's little pieces of lore there is little like you know the uh, mock-ups of like the original like game intros yeah yeah all that all all that stuff we just shut up over there we're getting deliveries i know and uh you know if you like that stuff i'm not here to yuck you or yum or kink shame you in any way <laughs> I I looked at it and I scrolled. I'll scroll Centro's Twitter and and Light 88's Twitter once every couple hours to just check See what's just cuz that's on. the obligation I I feel like I have now. I'm yeah. the president of Pokémon yeah, apparently. Well, <laughs> what's his name? And, Higuro Miyamoto, that's Nintendo. Yeah. That's you. Yeah. Um and I'll tell you I just don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about I I think they're cool. I'll scroll and I'll say, "Wow, okay." Oh, interesting. Oh, look. Get oh, they oh, what's the what they do? They made this Pokemon worse. Oh, I'm shocked. I am so surprised. And then you you move on. You say, "Okay, well, I'm never getting that Pokemon again." There's yeah. really no leaks of new Pokemon. It's like there's so much noise and dilution from like uh, like uh, you know, other people's own beta sprites fan art you yeah. can't really tell what's real and what's not yeah something will get reposted and you'll be like that doesn't look like a pokemon at all no so you know i can't you can't really trust anything yeah 
Um, the fake news media. It really just hasn't been all that I don't fun find it, for me. Yeah, I don't find it particularly interesting and, at all. And then the dramatic thing is, apparently the hacker, the guy that got all this stuff, yeah. has a copy of Pokemon Legend Z to A. That's crazy. He has a copy of it that's playable on online, like on a computer, yeah. that he played through. Yeah. He said a couple things about it. He's but, like, this game is ass. And it, <laughs> <laughs> and and the whole light he said it looks more like scarlet and violet than it does legends arceus is what i think he said oh, i don't know if people are gonna like that i don't think people like it yeah but he's not going to release the game he's okay. releasing basically everything else but he's not going to release the game what makes it even more interesting and dramatic from my point of view as yeah. someone who likes a little bit of drama a little tea is ku said that he heard some bad news and he said he basically said i'm not gonna read the tweet because i don't care that much he basically <laughs> said that uh you got to be careful, otherwise things might fucking change. Yeah. And what people are taking that as is if enough stuff gets leaked, Pokemon might just scrap Legend Z to A. Yeah. And just say, fuck it. All right, fine. You want to play this game? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Wow. And no Pokemon Legend Z to A. They've already started like ripping down beta sprites. That's why we're not showing any of the beta sprites. I don't yeah. want any smoke. They've already taken down a couple of our videos in the past. So they don't like us very much. They really don't they don't want us to do anything. But it makes you wonder what they fucking said to that hacker. <laughs> Cuz if you're a hacker and you dig in and you're releasing yeah. all this shit, you're done and for, you have man. the hottest piece of gossip. Yeah. What are you doing holding on to that? Well, I got to think like I know everybody kept saying like I, I mean it's our own damn fault, isn't it? Because everybody kept saying like Nintendo, you need to hire more people. You know, you need to do, like do quality control, bring more people in, and take care of you know, take care of all this Pokemon stuff. Yeah. The second they did, look, all these fucking these fuckers are going around leaking everything. This is why they didn't want to hire everybody. They didn't. They didn't. But also, like, I don't know, man. I I missed it. You think you gotta pee in a cup to get into the building? I think. I you think, think they gotta have. I like, want to know if that. I want. I'll be the first to say, it. Pokemon, I love you. I don't think this is real. But like, do they have a hit out on this fucking guy? Yeah. Do they have a gun to his head? Yeah. A pew pew to his head? You can't say gun on YouTube. Here we go. I'm afraid to show a Pokemon beta sprite, but I'm out here saying fucking death threats and gun and cock and balls. Yeah, do, you think they have, do you think they have an Aegis Slash to his head? <laughs> it's fucking scary because that's a gajillion dollar Pokemon. <laughs> a Blastoise. <laughs> nah, man. I don't know. I, I don't know, know what's gonna happen. So we don't want any smoke. Campaign. We're just we, we. All we're hoping for is the next next piece of real wouldn't news. Would they really but, cancel a game they've spent money on and this time on? Then they wouldn't have like a next year release or whatever. I I I understand, but I mean, like maybe they don't cancel it. Maybe they make it like a DLC thing. Maybe they make it a a, a, a fraction of the size. Yeah. And they they just say, all right, fuck it, on to the next, and we're 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 tightening shit up, or they change it drastically, yeah. or they, <laughs> they make it bad, <laughs> they make it bad, or yeah. you know, or they 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 tack it on to Gen Ten. So all right, you have to wait an extra two years. I don't know what they're gonna do. When is legend? Do we know when it's supposed to come out? I believe next year. I next imagine year, my right? my guess would be November. So it's probably not done yet, right? No. Like what version of this game could he possibly have? I imagine. He's... I imagine it's mostly done. Okay. And I am what I uh, out of all the games that I've made. Yeah. I imagine you take. They've been working on it for however many years. Yeah. three four years or whatever and so it's mostly gone it's mostly done and now it's just ironing out all the kinks and bugs and putting finishing touches and mm. see you know I, I imagine it's more creative decisions as opposed to structural and you know actual fucking coding the game yeah i don't think they're animating a guy throwing a pokeball at this point i think they okay. did that a year ago okay that's my guess yeah. i don't know well you tell it's me. also probably if they're if it's a direct sequel to Legends Arceus, they could probably use a lot of that and just throw it in there. I, I don't mean, think that it, it is. If it, it takes place in there's they leaked the story of it. Well, sure, but like the way games work, I mean, like you can just take this the assets and like put them in this. Right, but yeah. I don't. I think it's closer to Scarlet they're Violet the stuff from Scarlet and Violet. I don't know what they're taking. I don't know. I don't even know how that works. I, can really you copy and paste really video games? You know, take a break. <laughs> I think you can. I think you can copy can you? and paste video games for the most part. All right, copy paste. You know, like I think they've got it. That's why everybody was so mad. Like when um. Uh, Sword and Shield came out or whatever, and they were like, "This is the same. These are like the same things ripped from X and Y." Oh yeah, yeah. Like you just took that and put it here. 
I mean, it, 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 sword. To short, I hated Sword and Shield, yeah. but to its credit, it looked enough different from X and Y. Yeah, no, it looked different enough. Right. It was. It was for my case. It was an open world game. Yeah. You know. Look, I'm not gonna bug. I'm, I'm not gonna get mad. At yeah, him. I'm not gonna get all my panties in a bunch. But I don't know. There's something. <laughs> well, there's, I might. <laughs> there's. I. 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 I just. I really have tried desperately to get it up for this. Uh, this game. I, 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 I grabbed the screenshot just at, to be polite. Where's our whistle, huh? What happened to our whistle? It's in that. It's in that cupboard. This one. It's in there. Imagine you go and you see a big giant dildo. Yeah. How cool would that be? That would be kind of fun. There's a PC version that currently works. Uh, it can be played. The leaker has it. It is not public, and they have no intention of sharing it. Where's my whistle? Um. Yeah. Hey, say say get it up again. Yeah. Get it up again. Oh, God. There you there go. There you go. I saw some spit go in there. Make sure you wipe that off. <laughs> <laughs> the game is noticeably larger than previous ones in file size. <laughs> larger? <laughs> oh, let me see. Claims that the main story of PLZA is almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ZA's art style is different from RZA's. It is different shading. <laughs> what does that mean? It's gonna, we gotta go up on that. One. Yeah. <laughs> the hacker commented after playing the main story that the game. <laughs> I came. The, the game is very fun, <laughs> even with lag and bugs. <laughs> lag. No. <laughs> Stun Fisk returns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is harder than it looks. I know. All right. I'm not going to put this on camera because I don't care enough. Yeah. But I want to show you Beta Beta Gallade. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to show you people. I'm just going to show you. They got rid of his little hips. Yeah, that's that, what it should look like. They made, they got rid they they originally <laughs> they got it is, right the first time. That thing is 10 times better. It's I 10 times better ten, without why his the fucking Why fuck does he have a little plate on his, <laughs> his swallow little swallow a platter? His big bowl. Yeah, it's stuck in his little tummy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, I just I, I I really can't get it up for the beta sprites. They're like they're like I don't know. Are they 5 Point five out of ten level interesting to me. Yeah, if that at maybe. best. I haven't looked at any of them. I've seen. I I like you know what I looked at was the rabbit that that was used to be Mudcap. Yeah, the rabbit with cool. He has the little fucking inner tube, which is to me that's disgusting. <laughs> that's part of his body. That's right? part of his fucking body. What are you? doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's so gross it's part of it's a big gross. no wonder they cut that like Goiter. i know people are like i fell in love with this this rabbit <laughs> hey, oh gosh imagine like you had a fleshy thing wrapped that was part of you <laughs> but you could also like slip in and out of it ew it's an appendage maybe that's his penis <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop you gotta hurt yourself but it's but the frustrating part is that they clearly took that and they made him into fucking score bunny. yeah they took him and made him into score bunny later but which that is sucks you know, that sucks I, you know what i wish score bunny had a soccer ball stuck on his foot <laughs> it was part of his foot that's what i'm saying it makes Big you wonder toe. it makes you wonder about like rillaboom so are those yeah. are those are those drums? Yeah. Those testicles? Yeah. What are those? Is, is, <laughs> is his ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long have we been talking for? Tell me it's more it than fifteen minutes. <laughs> Twenty seven minutes. All right, that's good enough for me. So, uh, no, what about our nice trick? <laughs> oh yes, no, but this, we're, we're moving on to this. Uh, so I want to pitch you on a little game. Yeah, we got the a try not game. to laugh challenge. Didn't really work. It didn't flop. Because it, it's only because the the videos weren't funny, and then it's the fucking. It, what is it called? It's a catch twenty two. It's a paradox, uh -huh. is what it is. Uh -huh. that we need to vet and make sure that the try not to laugh video is actually funny uh -huh. before we watch it. But if we're but watching if we're it not, and we yeah. know it, we're not going to laugh. laugh. So that's the hard part. Okay. What are you going to do? So we have this, to find people. So if you guys what, have ones that are funny to suggest us, we'll take. Them. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make each other laugh. Yeah. Th these are the rules of the game. You get three attempts. So yeah. I I will take a sip of water. Ephraim will have three attempts to make me laugh. The only he is allowed to say three, a max of three words to me per each attempt. Yes. So he can. I will take a sip. He will turn to me. He will say words number one, two, and three. If I laugh, he gets a point or something. Okay. Or whatever. He gets yeah. three attempts, and then I will do the same to him. 
I don't know if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, there's a chance that we just don't add this to the podcast. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. No, Makes that's, sense? That's fair. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fair. Do you want to do you want to go first or second? Um, I don't know. I think maybe I think maybe you'll be the fun challenging aspect of it cuz I think I'm easier to make laugh. I don't know. You I don't think know? I'm a, I think I'm an easy laugh. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you want to go for I only have one thing written down. Well, so yeah, I think I only have two things. Okay. 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 Yeah. So you know, why don't so you want some water? You, you want me? First. I'll take. I'll take a sip first. Yeah, you take. You a go sip around first. first. Okay. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Get all the giggles out. Get kids. all the giggles all right. out. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, you got to get your computer out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, a, a, a reminder, this is the only thing I have written down, okay? Mm -hmm. Little Bo Peep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. If you want, I can do another one. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I've pooped my pants. <laughs> All right. Let me do one last one for mm -hmm. you. I've pooped my beep. <laughs> Read me, it shouldn't be allowed. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I was. <laughs> that I can only think of little Bo Peep. Oh, well, I feel, I, now I, now I, I feel like I've forgotten my second, my second thing. Little Bo Peep is a great one. Uh -huh. Little, <laughs> little Bo Peep. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Here, I don't have a lot of water. Uh, here, here, yeah. Go, go, go. Re up really quick. It's a minefield. It's really tough. We really got to upgrade our studio. <laughs> All right, let me let me fill her up. I'm gonna get my phone out of the way. Right. Okay, let me know when you're ready. You ready? I thought a lot about these. These are really powerful. Mm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Belly button lint. <laughs> <laughs> Good, right? It's pretty good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, here, get, get get yourself another sip of water. <laughs> Let's see how far we can go. No, that's okay. This is all. This is all good. It's all good for the fans. Come on. Ready? Okay. I want to put. So this is this is technically four words, but I'm, I'm still like imagine a. I'm just saying a. I'm just qualifying. How about? A tiny garden gnome. No? 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 Okay. All right. Good. Good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, ready? This one is tech. This one's four words. Okay. Clitlick, I choose you. <laughs> If you're not going to go on that, I just want to tell you what my backup one was going to be. My backup one before Clitlick Clit Clit happened today was just saying, Jewish people. <laughs> if I had a full <laughs> There you go. Did you like that? Did you like that? Is that better? We can do that. We can do that uh, sometimes. Uh, man, belly button lint really <laughs> I've been sitting on that one for a while. That's really, half of it was also how excited you were. 
us. I was thrilled by the possibility. Yeah. Of this. Let us know if you like that because that's a repeatable thing. But hey, if you made it this far in the, into the uh, video, please leave a like and subscribe. And have, if you haven't already, if you're listening on any of the audio apps, uh, please leave a five-star review. If you don't leave a five-star review, leave a four-star review. If you don't leave a three-star review, guys, uh, we're, we're spitting water all over ourselves. Yeah, yeah. We need you desperately. Instead, what you do is you can first join our Discord for absolutely free, but uh, you can go to YouTube, click that notification bell, and you go and leave a comment. I reply to every single comment. You can check my work. Uh, but if you don't want to do all that, you just want to give us money. What did I do? You can become a member of the channel, a bell under the ball, they say, Ooh. for five dollars a month. Hey, that's damn near free. <laughs> don't interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> for five dollars a month, you can become a bell under the ball and get early access to every video we put up here. Every single one. That's right. The minute it's done, it's up there, and you can watch it. And you get to talk to us once a week over our VIP Discord channel. Wow. Mm. Wouldn't you like to talk to us? I know. Oh, yeah. But maybe you don't want to do any of that. Maybe you want to give us lump sums, in which case, <laughs> in which case, you go to fourthwall.com slash bellhop. It's in the description below. You get yourself a piece of our merch. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Uh, let's end this podcast. Do you have anything else to say? I got nothing else to say. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye. Yeah. Oh, we have to do a stupid intro. Yeah. I don't think we have to do a pun. I don't have a pun. There's no pun. I don't have a pun. Yeah, no.